also hello pokestuff.com and YouTube. So today I'm going to be showing you how to um, uh, hack any Windows 7 64-bit or 32-bit computer just with a USB. Um, you're going to have to boot into this USB. Um, and if you guys don't know how to do that, just comment in the description and I'll try and help you because it is a little bit different for each computer. Um, so first what you're going to have to do is download a uh, torrent downloader. So I'm just going to show you how to download uTorrent. Um, so just type in uTorrent.com and then uh, just download the torrent. Just You'll probably find it. Just go to products and then free and then you'll just click on free download. And then you'll go to this, blah, blah, blah. And you'll just want the most current uh, stable version probably. Just click download now and it should start in the bottom here. So after you finish downloading the uTorrent, uh, I'll put a dis uh, I'll put another link in the description to go to uh, this Pirate Bay torrent. Um, it's the program that we're using is called Conboot. Uh, it's a pretty ingenious program that actually um, it latches on to um, a process that kind of deals with um, logging in at the window screen. So if you boot into this program what happens is the program runs and then it go then it then boots into windows so the program is kind of running in the background uh, uh latching itself on to the windows process so this does not harm your computer at all they won't even know that you're there uh, after you take out the usb um so you just it plugs in uh then you can type gibberish or just press enter when you get to the log on screen and it logs you straight in so what you're going to do after this is a finished downloading, um, you're just going to install uTorrent and then click get this torrent. It's going to launch a protocol, whatever, just launch application. And yes, you want to do this here so that it starts. Um, this usually takes about maybe a minute. It's really fast because it's just um, like f six megabytes. Yeah, six megabytes. So uh, after this is finished downloading, I will uh, come back and uh, show you the rest. All right, so Conboot has just finished downloading. Um, so now all you're gonna have to do is just click on it and then right click and open containing folder. So now what you have is just a bunch of these files. Um, so you can actually install this on a CD um, floppy, you don't have to worry about, and or a USB. Uh, this tutorial is just going to show you how to install it on a USB. For me, it's just simpler. So what you're actually going to do is uh, get your USB and then just plug it in. I've already done that. It's a multi-boot G. Um, so we're just gonna, you're just going to plug it in. Then you're going to go into the conboot uh, folder. And now the USB, just double click. And uh, you're going to see all these files. Just worry about the conboot uh, USB.exe. So what you're going to do is right click on that and run as administrator. <clears throat> so then this folder is going to open and uh, you want to really make sure oh, it's not telling you is it? Okay don't do it that way. What you're going to do is right click on this and install USB install and then run as what? Okay just do it this way. Run as administrator and make sure you just have one removable disk and it's not going to overwrite your C drive or a D drive because it knows it's not a removable disk. So just make sure you have one uh, USB in there and then you'll be fine. So just click yes. So just click Y, sorry. And then it's going to say all done, please wait, copy and files, press any key, press enter, and then you're done. Um, yeah. So now you can just uh, right click. And you're gonna have these three fold these three files, and just right click, and you can just eject. And uh, now you have your bootable USB. So I'm just gonna come back and actually show you uh, what happens when you actually plug it in and boot from the USB. All right, so I'm back. So right now I'm just I'm at my uh, laptop. Um, so I actually. I already had the program run in, so if you can actually see, if you don't restart your computer, so hopefully you can see that I'm just typing in random characters, just a bunch of them. So if you don't restart your computer after you run this program, 
uh, you can type absolutely anything you want and it's still gonna log you in I actually just figured that out just before I started this um, tutorial part uh, so I have to wait a couple seconds then it's gonna log in so that was complete gibberish that's obviously not my password so what you're actually gonna have to do is plug in your USB um, this is just my 50 512 megabyte USB that I got for my school, it's pretty crappy. So uh, this is the one I just pulled out on my computer. So I'm just going to plug it in on the side and I'm going to restart my computer. Uh, it's actually pretty convenient for my uh, logo to be up there. It's actually my old one, but still my new ones on my website so just wait for it to shut down and it's gonna restart so I have already changed the boot order on my computer to boot from USB first so like I said in the first part of the tutorial if you don't know how to do that just comment and I might send you to a link because uh, each uh, computer has a different boot order it's usually in the manual for the computer so it's not that convenient if you want to hack into them right away but it's usually maybe F2 or F 12, something like that. So right now my USB is still plugged in. Um, obviously it's a Lenovo, Lenovo ThinkPad. So it's booting up right now. So as you can see, if you can see on the side, so I'm just going to turn the camera a little bit. It says uh, Con Boot version 2. Um, and a bunch of other stuff you really need to know. So after that you just press enter. And some uh, script's going to come up. It looks pretty cool. Oh, it actually changes color. Uh, this was uh, red last time I did it. So it's going to do all this stuff. And then it's going to boot normally. Um, I just, I have two different operating systems on this computer. So uh, it's going to boot differently. Um, but it, it should just boot right into Windows. And uh, also I changed the boot logo. Uh, you can go to my website if you want to see how to do that as well. Alright, so after that finishes, it's just gonna go back up. Mine takes an incredibly long time to uh, go and boot into Windows. I don't know why. It's not like I have a bunch of... Uh, I do. I have a bunch of weird stuff on it, but still. Mine just takes a while, so hopefully it'll go fast just for this tutorial. And it does, thank you. So, as you can see, it has my little Windows login screen, stuff like that that you just saw before. Um... So now I'm just going to press enter, you know how I typed in a bunch of gibberish before, I'm just going to press enter this time, and I'm just going to show you that it did work. And there we go. So it just boots in. Um, yeah, just do this with any com Windows computer, and you should be fine. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure if it works on Windows XP. It probably does. Um, I did say only for Windows, but now I think about it, I think it said in the description that. Uh, sorry, description for the actual um, program that it works with uh, win uh, all different types of Windows, like Windows XP, I think Windows, some other lower ones, and Windows 7. And the newest, newest version, which isn't this one, I think works with Windows 8, but I don't really know anyone that has that because it's not really meant to be on a computer. Don't really know why they put that on there. Um, so as you can see, it works fine. Do whatever I want. Uh, you can then go into Command Prompt, for example, so CMD. MD. So this is just a it's a program called Launchy. It just launches applications, uh, so I don't have to go into the directories and stuff like that. If it will actually do it for me, there we go. Okay, now I have two open. 
so I'm just gonna go into here and I can type in like um, net user Austin star I think that's how you change the password yeah and then you just type in this like I'm gonna type in good and good oh wait access d one second <laughs> So you're gonna, you're actually gonna have to go into the all programs. Oh, this is taking too long. CMD. I'm just searching for it in the bottom. But like I said before, my computer is very slow when it just boots up. Okay, so now just right click on CMD because. If you can, you can log in to any account on the computer. So if you log on to the administrator account, uh, you can just run as administrator, and you can change any single account's password. And then that's kind of unlimited for anything you want to do. Um, change the password, then you can, uh, you know, go into backtrack or something like that. And um, and do some malicious stuff. So change password to good, good, and command successful. Okay, so this will be the end of the tutorial. Uh, you can comment, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Come to the website at pokestuff.com.